Hey y'all, welcome back to the DG Outdoors channel. This is the second filming of this video, mostly because I'm trying to save everything to an SD card on my phone, because I have a clip from this that I filmed on what I'm about ready to show you guys. Um, and I had to say to save all the videos from my phone onto the SD card. Luckily I bought two 32 gigabyte SD cards so I can upload everything into my computer and save it that way, hopefully. Um, I'm still trying to figure all this stuff out. So, yesterday, you guys know that I got the 8-man action camera. You guys also know that I did a review on the cell phone mount for your shotgun, rifle, or muzzleloader that May May 98 got me for Christmas. And I was like, so how am I going to get a bow holder for my... Um, my compound bow for my camera. I'm like, do I want to buy a cell phone one? Do, and I, I was looking online on how to make your own, you know, but then I actually went to watch a review on YouTube of the 8-man 4K action camera that I got. I think it's the A79 uh, model. And I looked through all the accessories that it came with a million times, you know, and I'm like, what am I going to use all this stuff for? But then I noticed it came with a bicycle mount. I used a bicycle mount and hooked it right to my stabilizer. Guys, now this is not a, cir a circle stabilizer. So it kind of dug in there, but it is rubber. So it clamped on really good, pretty much, you know. And all you do is I can now hook my action camera up to it just like this. And film those awesome shots if I'm out there practicing or doing some shooting and want to get different angles I can do that and the only reason why I put it back on the um, head mount is I actually bought this GoPro head mount strap yesterday at Walmart for $19 actually so y'all now I have a way to um, put a camera on the front of my bow and not add a lot of weight at all to this and it stays pretty pretty straight I mean you can kind of turn it a little bit if you need a different angle but it kept me from spending extra money and uh, now I'm just trying to figure out how to get all the files together and make one complete video to upload to YouTube so um, yeah this camera is pretty nice I did like maybe a 24 second little clip of me drawing the bow back out the front door so you guys can kind of see what that looks like. And uh, so if y'all want a cheap action camera mount, go on Amazon or eBay, order you a bicycle mount for an action camera. And this will clip right onto your stabilizer and give you a way to film and not spend $50, $60 on a mount or use your phone to hold it on there, which is it vibrates a lot when you do that. So, I mean, this is plastic it is kind of bent up a little bit but i mean it's solid on there and like i said guys doesn't add any weight so let me get on there and try to figure all this stuff out and hopefully it does save it to the sd card because then i'll be able to i put vlog it the editing app on my phone on the computer and i'll be able to splice all that stuff together for some reason when i put the sd card in my phone it doesn't recognize the uh, GoPro footage which i don't know why but that's why i couldn't edit it all on my phone like i wanted to so now i'm gonna try to edit it all on the laptop so I hope you all find that useful if you guys need a way to put a action camera on your stabilizer a um, bike mount for a GoPro is not a bad way to go and I'm sure this does have a I'm sure I could buy like a little extender piece that would clip onto this for my phone if I wanted to but I'll worry about that later so y'all remember Jesus loves you and I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.